One of the most pressing questions is usually how much money do I need to get started in options? So you got to think about this. You know, options trading, it's a complex, it's a pretty dynamic field. And there's a multitude of factors that influence it, including market volatility, your risk tolerance, your trading goals. And to get on this journey, you're going to have to consider the minimum capital to start with. And it's going to depend on your chosen trading strategies, of course, and the regulatory bodies in your country. So if let's say, for example, you want to trade margin, well, you're looking at at least $2,000 in your trading account. But as a beginner, it's recommended to start with even a higher amount, about five to $10,000. And this is going to allow you to trade effectively. It's going to help you cover all the margin requirements and it's going to help you manage risk. Now, with a smaller account, you're going to be limited to certain option strategies like selling covered calls, but at the same time, you have to own the stock for that or trading outright puts and calls. And these are just pure directional plays. And you can absolutely do this with just a few hundred bucks. Now, determining your risk tolerance is a pretty important step when you're trading and it dictates how much of your capital you're willing to put on the line for a single trade. Now, as a beginner, rule of thumb is 1% of your account balance. Now, as you continue forward with options trading, you're gonna to wanna to develop a solid trading strategy. You wanna consider different trading strategies and each of these are gonna have their own capital requirements, their own risk profile. Now, defined risk strategies, one of our favorites here at NetPix, such as a bull call spread and iron condors, these are suitable for traders with lower capital starting amounts. Now, managing volatility and risk effectively is important in trading in general and especially true in options. And you have to consider how implied volatility affects options pricing. So an increase in market volatility generally leads to higher option premiums, which in turn affects your potential profitability. So analyzing historical volatility data, this is going to help you make better trading decisions. It's going to help you adjust your strategies based on current volatility conditions. So your trading budget, it serves as a foundation for your trading and creating a comprehensive one is going to help you allocate your resources effectively, resources being your capital, and make smart decisions. So you're going to want to start by setting aside an initial capital investment of about $2,000, okay? This is going to allow you to use various option strategies beyond just buying outrights. Now, market dynamics, these absolutely impact options trading. So you really have to develop a trading strategy that takes into account the interplay between factors such as implied volatility, historical market trends, and your personal investment goals. So you're going to have to adapt your approach to suit the market condition because implied volatility, this can really influence the options pricing and that's going to affect how much profit you make. Now, growing capital steadily in options trading, it demands a, a disciplined approach to risk management. Now, novice traders are advised to limit the risk to no more than 1% of their total account per trade. And this is going to help protect against huge losses. So by doing so, you're going to protect your account from significant downturns and you're going to ensure just a longer trading lifespan. And as you get more experience, you might want to bump that up. So wrapping this short little video up, Options trading is complex, it's dynamic, you got a plan, you got to have discipline and a solid understanding of market dynamics. And you want to start with a sufficient amount of capital. You want to assess your risk tolerance. You want to develop a solid trading strategy. You want to manage volatility and risk effectively. And by doing that, you're going to be on your way to achieving a steady capital growth and success in trading options.